record it. That pilot almost had us on the side of Jacksonville, Florida. That was insane. What's going on YouTube? Today I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, picking up one of my first, or actually my first bagged car, or I guess stance car. Um, as you guys see by the thumbnail, you guys already know what it is, if everything goes well, which it should. Um, but it's super cold here. It's like a 55 degrees. Um, it was super windy on the plane. And I'm just waiting for the guy who I'm buying it from to uh, head over here. He's uh, got a little lost in the airport, but um, yeah, I know it's, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about the car when I go check it out. Today is uh, March 6th, 2021. Um, I told you guys already what I do. I buy the cars, enjoy them for a few months, you know, three to seven months, whatever it may be, and uh, sell them after that. It's, it's a fun hobby to me. A lot of my friends do it, um, but if everything goes well today, I'm gonna to be driving it from Florida back to Michigan. Never been in a bagged car, never drove a bagged car. So I don't know if it's gonna ride super tough um, or whatnot, but uh, not by tough, I mean rough. So we'll find out here soon when he's gonna pull up. He said he's down below somewhere. So let's find him. Where is he at here? Guys, it's a done deal. Got the deal done with the uh, previous owner and I'm on the way home now. It's pouring rain, so I'll talk a little bit more when I stop at a gas station or something, but I paid a little bit more than I'd like to, but it's a uh, cool, something different. I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna stop when I see a gas station. All right, guys, here's the car. Um, sorry I waited so long. Honestly, it's laid out now. It's been like four and a half hours of me driving. Everything's so far so good. Um, the car is it's wrapped, obviously. It's some crazy, vinyl wrap color i've seen it before we haven't wrapped it at my shop yet but um it's obviously bagged it's obviously uh wide bodied and it's wrapped um the car originally here is a like a dark gray a granite gray um it has bc forged i believe they're 11 or 12 wide maybe even 13 wide thank you i guess that lady likes the car but um 285 30 20 they're kind of small front tires for a wide body um I'm assuming being that tire, these are about 11 inches wide and the rears are probably 12. Let's see what they're at back here. Oh, same tire, I guess they're squared because it's wide bodied, I don't know. But they're square, so I'm assuming they're like 20 by uh, 11 or 20 by 12 BC Forge wheels. Pretty nice, um, they're obviously filthy. I've been driving for a while now. Um, I'm still about 11 and a half, 12 hours from home. The car has some weird looking spoiler. There's only one big downside to this car. It's my first bagged wide-bodied car um also this fender flare needs to be adjusted it looks like a little bit um and wrap is kind of needs to be a little bit adjusted but besides that it's a pretty clean car um one owner i bought it from the original owner he's had it since 2015 and i wanted a car like that i wanted my first bag car to be like that probably gonna enjoy it like i said for a few months uh to a year honestly if i really like it and uh yeah it's it's full bolt on i'll get under the hood and stuff you know a little bit later i actually already have a wheel on order from carbon bargain but like i said it's the original owner um i wanted a clean car and this is what i got and not bad for my first bagged car uh, i know they say you know built or bought not built but um you know he took hard depreciation on buying and doing all, all this to the car and i'm the one enjoying it obviously so um, i'm cool with that Kind of trying to figure out what else is done to it right now. Has the headlight stuff done. Obviously, I know it's done to it. Just getting super late here, and I've been up super early. But I just want to do a little walk around. Um, and I'll tell you the big downside about this car here soon. So, met this guy, Archer. Your name is Archer, right? Yeah, Archer. Like archering? Like, uh... Yeah, like <laughs> Just met him at the gas station. Are we in South Carolina or North Carolina? Oh, that's North Carolina. Just met him in North Carolina. Here's his uh, his GT, the S197. Yeah, that's a good car. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just met this dude named Archer. 
I guess he uh, lives in North Carolina. He actually follows me on Instagram, or not follows me, he doesn't anymore. He must unfollow me when I sold my GTR, but he's like, hey, didn't you have that GTR? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I uh, I did have that GTR. Kind of missed that thing, honestly. Um, but drive's still good. So far, so good. It's been about six and a half hours. Honestly, I'm ex exhausted. I can't even talk right, because I drink a Bang Energy. Not sponsored by Bang, but hit me up if you want. Um, anyways, I'm exhausted, and car looks great. I just, six and a half hours I've been driving. I didn't sleep last night. I slept for like three and a half hours last night. Got on a plane. I actually skipped the gym this morning. I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I was so exhausted. Skipped the gym for two hours that I had just for me not to even sleep because I couldn't fall back asleep. And then on the plane, the plane was super rough. Um, I mean, it was raining like a few hours in my drive, but so far so good. I'm probably gonna drive for another hour, hour and a half. I just don't want to wake up tomorrow morning and be driving for, you know, another seven, eight hours. So I'm going to try to knock a lot out tonight. So before the morning, I'm going to show you guys another sneak peek of what's done to this car and some of the crazy stuff done to it. Well, there's something rattling in there, but probably just like a rock. But sweet uh, Rockford subsystem. It has the uh, full air compressor kit. I like how they actually wrap it around here. It's pretty cool. There's actually something clicking back here. I think it's these just rubbing on each other. Probably, but super sweet. The car is super cool. Um, I'm going to drive for a little bit longer. When I get to the hotel, I'll talk a little bit more. All right, guys. As we speak, I'm pulling up to the hotel. I'm going to go to sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. next morning here you can see it's on the ground obviously i think i told you guys yesterday it's bagged um only problem is the battery died in the key and i didn't lock it so i was hoping nobody would get in here and they didn't i wanted to show you guys the exact ride height it sits at um i mean you guys kind of hear the noise it's making and that's the little secret i was gonna tell you guys i won't tell you right now on what the downside is to the car but you can kind of hear it now but anyways um and for people who don't understand, comment below and someone will answer for you before. If there's nothing significantly wrong with it, it just the, uh, I'll tell you guys later. But regardless, this is the ride height and this is actually a higher ride height than normal. And it, this is literally how I've been riding all the way from Florida. Like it's, it's basically touching the ground. Stopped here at the Mustang at some weird stop in West Virginia. Um, but I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the downsides of the car, which is not really a downside to some people, um, especially me, like I don't really mind it. Um, the car isn't a 5.0, so it's an EcoBoost, which is a four cylinder turbo, and it has a full bolt on, it has like simple mods, it makes like 60 wheel, 60 wheel horsepower over stock, so about 320 horsepower. I have the dyno sheet and stuff. So this guy put like, 30 grand um uh, that's kind of high i'd say like 25 to 30 grand roughly into this mustang and it's eco boost so a lot of people who do bags and wide body do them on the five o's obviously um and like i said it's not a downside to me because i was planning to buy a six speed eco boost eventually sometime just to like kind of pounce around and have fun with um these cars kind of settled for their value you know the eco boost um you know, are between like 20 and 30 grand and the 5.0s. Like those, the 2015 plus Mustangs are in that range, 20 to 30 grand. They don't ever go below it. Um, really, they're not supposed to be going over it unless it's supercharged or turboed or some crazy uh, engine mods. But this car, um, it is a cool car. I can drive around, I'll have for a while. Um, you know, a while to me is a few months and I'll enjoy it. You know, six speed manual, makes about 320 wheels. So I'll have fun just driving it around town and not really worrying about anything breaking. I mean, the car is, um, you know, 320 wheel. It's built for 260 from the factory. So it's not gonna make a big difference. Being uh, slightly, mod slightly modified, I can putz around town with the six speed, bang some gears and not really worry about anything. Um, car has a super cool wrap which it needs to be adjusted a little bit knowing, you know, I'm, I want a professional wrap shop. So little things here and there obviously bother me, but to the blind eye, you wouldn't really tell, um, which, you know, I'll get that adjusted here, here soon. Um, 
but it has these nice like seven thousand dollar bc forged wheels and tires um it has the like three thirty five hundred dollar air ride suspension kit obviously that's not including installation or anything um has full exhaust down pipes here i'll pop the hood for you guys to see um about six hours away from home still what Okay, let me open the hood really quick so like i said the car is a four-cylinder turbo it has jlt intake a few other jlt mods um i have to look back at the build sheet i have strut tower brace um i i can't even, i think the turbo i think that is the turbo right there it's super small so you can't even really tell down pipe right down there it has a bunch of true fiber carbon fiber pieces on here all real carbon fiber pieces uh engine cover all stuff like that um, headlights are, I believe are tinted and they have the RWB or whatever you call the uh, LEDs in them so it's a pretty cool build it's something simple enough to where I'm not like super in it and super like modified and I'm scared that something's gonna happen to it and um, that's pretty much that yeah so here's the car it's my first stance car a lot of people are gonna hate and be like oh that thing's ugly that thing's whatever um i think it's cool every car scene has different leagues of scenes the racing scene the stance scene the you know uh i don't know honda scene i mean there's scenes for everything the car meet the corvette guys that go at seven o'clock in the morning the car meets there's a bunch of different scenes and you know i've been in the racing scene for a while in the show car type of scene but never in this type of scene so i wanted to try something new and plus you don't see many of these cars up in michigan um i bought this car from florida so that makes more sense than anything you know florida and california have a lot of cars like these but it's not just an ecoboost the ecoboost premium um interior is a little bit dirty because obviously i'm driving far so it has all the leather leather here navigation it's a six-speed manual i guess it'll have fun how fun like pouncing around town um and i showed you guys the trunk mod so i'm gonna kind of head home here's like a little like introducing the car here if you guys have any questions just leave them down below but i'm gonna pretty much end it off here for the talking part and i'm gonna head home i got about six more hours left this dude's in front of me right now and uh G g37 g35 exactly what i mean what a different scene like that guy is in the whole stance scene he has a wrapped car with like stance wheels super low to the ground and it pops it's like a v6 or a four cylinder i've never been against the scene or anything i just have never had a car that would fit that criteria really at all i wanted to try like a different scene you know get get into meeting different people and you know talk about cars and stuff and yeah obviously it's not something i built but it's something different i can go in and like go to car meets and talk to different people about it and learn about this scene I love cars, all makes, all kinds. Um, you know, maybe one day I'll even get a classic car so I can learn more about that. I'm not a big classic guy. I'm into like the new generation uh, cars, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like that guy was reporting it and loved it. Same thing with that guy, um, Archer at the gas station. Just different type of scene people, you know? Like that guy was a Mustang guy at the gas station. This guy is actually like the stance type of guy. example of what I meant when I say there's different types of vehicles and this is the type of vehicles and people that love like stance vehicles like this Mustang. Just made it home. Let's check my trip. So Oh wow, look at that. I didn't know I was gonna even hit it. 1,000 miles I drove in the past uh, two days here and 15 hours and 24.5 miles per gallon. And that's the 340 wheel EcoBoost for you guys. But I'm gonna actually go mount my camera and I'm gonna air this thing down.
fart it. Oh, it loses all the air. There's those airbags in there. All right, guys, this is pretty much where I'm gonna end up the video. Got home all the way from Florida. Pretty quick trip. Um, I think I flew out yesterday, which is Saturday. Got there like five. Uh, drove for a little bit, went to a hotel, slept, woke up today, 10 o'clock uh, Sunday night, and I'm here. Um, I'm probably not going to post this video until like Tuesday or something. Tomorrow I'm going to get an oil change and uh, a few other things done to it, and I don't want anyone obviously going to try to see the oil change where I take it to or whatever, or try to show up there. But regardless, um, if you guys have any questions, have any places you think I should take the car, any more mods I should do to it, anything like that, uh, any videos you want me to do on it, leave it down below. Besides that, follow me on Instagram. It's at sinister underscore lifestyle. Besides that, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.